Morning Royals! Welcome to 2024 and to another episode of Shopping Shenanigans with your girl Trevina of Royalty Designs with Trevina. So without any further ado guys, we're going to get right into it because I have some goodies to share. But first, a word from the sponsors of today's video. None other than Harness. You guys, Harness is an online shopping plethora for all things classic and traditional as it relates to furniture, indoor and outdoor decor, home decor, and so much more. They came in at a perfect time and that I was working on the final space in my home, and that is my home office. As you can see, I have all of my furniture pieces in place. I'm working on an extreme makeover in this room, and I needed this space to be French country chic, but also give me a modern set of functionality so this is the space where my harness selection is going to be housed it is going to coordinate beautifully with all of the furniture pieces that i have in the space once i complete the makeover so i want you guys to stick around for this entire journey as i share with you this beautiful french conventional old hollywood room transformation right now it's giving me beauty but again i need it harness for the functionality and so thanks to harness i now have a beautiful crafting station guys how perfect is this cabinet it is a sideboard slash buffet cabinet but this proves that you can use a piece for whatever is necessary for you in the way that you live this as i said is a buffet cabinet but in a nice creamy or classic white it houses as you can see not one not two but three of my crafting machines as well as all the materials i need to do said crafting nestled perfectly behind this door it is absolutely going to create beauty and functionality in my space thanks again harness for sending over this amazing piece and now let's get into the rest of the video before we get into the goodies guys i want to um First, thank you all for an amazing, amazing 2023. You guys showed up and showed out. To all of my new subscribers, welcome to Royalty Designs with Trevina. I pray that you enjoy the journey with us into 2024. I have some amazing, amazing things on the horizon. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys along for this royal journey. I wanna let you all know that I appreciate you so much. Every comment, every like, and every share, particularly on the last videos that I uploaded, those were pre-recorded before Christmas. I wanted to kind of schedule myself a sabbatical, if you would. And so at the time of recording, I have taken a couple of weeks off and they have been absolutely amazing and so needed for my mind, my body, and my spirit. Thank you all for the support on those videos. It's where I um, showcase and announce my um, professional or my hair care line. And you guys have shown so much support. By now, I have already replied to every comment regarding the website or the link that you can go to to purchase said products. And I want to thank you all in advance for those that support that in the future. And so I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I haven't talked to you guys since Christmas or since before Christmas. So I feel like I want to do a little catch up. Our holiday was absolutely amazing. We started a tradition, as I mentioned in one of those shopping halls, we started an annual Christmas Eve brunch. Well, it quickly evolved from just a Christmas Eve brunch to a Grinchmas brunch. And so now it's going to be an annual tradition for our family. We had an amazing time. Um, all but one of our babies was here with us. Our grandbaby was here. We played games. We ate good. We just, we just so enjoyed every moment of that. And that to me was the best Christmas gift ever. Of course, your girl got some goodies, you know, too. But I just so enjoyed having them, having the pieces of my heart in, in the under the same roof with us so that was just absolutely amazing spent days after that just relaxing kind of unwinding i have not as you see taken out any holiday decor i wanted to enjoy it just a little bit longer and i don't want i don't want you guys to feel pressured to take your things down you know immediately i know everyone has their different trends or things that they do but i'll just say to you do what feels comfortable and right to you if you want to take it down christmas day go for it you want to take it down new year's eve Go for it. New Year's Day. Whenever you desire to do it, you do it. But if you leave it up until um, Super Bowl, like said I, anybody going to be mad but the devil. It's your house. Do what you want to do in it. And so with that said, I still have holiday decor up. But that didn't stop your girl from getting out doing a little shopping in these streets and on these internet streets. The girl got some, I got some pretty good deals. And I want to share with you everything that I 
picked up from various stores, some online, some in said stores. So without any further ado, guys, we're gonna jump right in. I've got Dollar Tree items, home good items, um, craft tech items. What is this? Of course I got something from AKA Amazon, AKA Amazon. Got something from them and then honey, your girl hit the mother load of all mother load when it comes to holiday sales or post holiday sales. And I caught the 90% off sale at Hobby Lobby and your girl scored big time. I wanna share those with you all. So let's get into it for the 30th time. All right, up first is Dollar Tree. So I've got these things still in the bag because I literally just picked them up the other day. Like I said, I didn't get out the day after Christmas. I just didn't feel it. I, what I did do was do some online shopping the day after Christmas because I really felt like I don't need much in terms of holiday styling. But once you see what all I got, maybe I did, maybe I did. Who's to say? But anywho, let's get into this holiday styling. Up first, guys, or this shopping haul, rather, I picked up some Mardi Gras masks. Is this going to give you a hint of what is to come? and future videos. I thought these were so cute and so fitting for Mardi Gras. Now, I'm going to tell you, I was really, really torn between whether or not to do Mardi Gras or Valentine's. So guess what? You're getting both of them, okay? How many you going to get? Both of them. I'm going to give you two theme styles in one because I decided once I do start taking the holiday decor down, I'm going to leave up a tree and you're going to get for the 2024 year, a monthly tree style. We're going to show you how to take those things that you have, create beautiful tree designs for season after season. So from January to December, there will be a tree in one room or two of my home. And I'm going to show you how to do that and take you along on those creative journeys. So one of those looks is going to be Mardi Gras. I thought these were so cute. That was two different styles. And you guys know a dollar tree is a dollar twenty-five, but at that price, you cannot beat it. I'm going to use some of the Christmas ornaments that I have in the Mardi Gras colors. Just throwing a little bit of pops of things that are quintessential Mardi Gras and show you how you can take what you have, add a little bit more and create beautiful looks. So I got five of those, okay? What's here? Let me put this set section over there out of the way. And so for Valentine, I've done, I've done a Valentine tree before. One, well actually I've done a couple of Valentine trees. One of them I styled in the classic Valentine colors of red, black, and white. And then one I did, one year I did like a pink, black, and white. And so this year I want to go real grown and sexy with the look. So I'm going to switch it up a bit. You're going to have to come back to see how I switch it up. But this is going to kind of indicate how we're going to switch it up. Now, Dollar Tree was in the win-win when it came to their Valentine decor. They had some really cute pieces. And I just, these are not together. They are actually separate pieces. And they are something that you can hang wherever you want to hang it in the window of a door in your office, on a cubicle, just wherever. But I'm going to use them as um, just a little adornment for the tree. I picked up five of these as well. That's it. That's all, you guys. But I'm going to take some holiday decor that I already have. I am homegrown, red in Arkansas, so I um, have done in the past an Arkansas Razorback tree. And so I have some things from that color scheme. I have some things from a David Christopher. I think it was called um, Winter Glam. It's a black-white um collection so i'm gonna take some things from both collections bring them together add to what i've just purchased and create a beautiful valentine look that's gonna be grown and sexy so you got to come back for that as well so that's that on that okay and i'm trying to get to the smaller stores first so we can get into the grand pumba of it all y'all because it's gonna blow your mind with the great finds that i got from hobby lobby but next guys it's going to be home goods and at Home Goods, they started marking their items down 50% off for all holiday decor. But I didn't get a lot of holiday decor. I picked up um, two sets of this like three-piece candle set. It was $14.99, and I got them at half off. And you all know that in my fireplace, it is our home is an older home, and we just bought it and doing updates along the way. And when they came out with the gas company explained the whole to-do of the fireplace, it was just better that we didn't try to make it functional or try, try to use it because it was gas gas start but wood burning anybody got time for them i'm not trying to burn my house down so we just said you know we'll just do something real cute and fancy just make it look you know nice for the time being so i painted it i did a whole fireplace remodel and i'll kind of link that i'll try to link that video in the description box but since then i've been adding a collection of candles and i want um tall candles all various sizes and heights of candles real candles faux candles just to give a little bit of interest and so whenever i see some white candles 
I try to snag them. When you see them at 50% off for three, you gotta grab them. So I picked up not one, but two of these at $14.99, okay? Ugh, that didn't break the bank, okay? And so, this year, guys, well, I, I, we both love hosting and, ha and having family and friends around, and we did more hosting this year than we've done in a long time. I think we did maybe three, three hosting, four, no, five, five different hosting um, events at our home throughout the year, and we really, really love doing that. And I wanted to just kind of elevate each experience with each time. You know, I've been building my reindeer entertainment collection. Y'all, excuse me. We have a, a dog next door, our neighbor's dog. His name is Blue, and he just, his bark is bigger than his bite. He may see somebody out there is why he's barking, so disregard Blue. But um, I want to always elevate the dining experience with each event. And so I needed some items to serve with, and I'm kind of building a silver and a gold collection. And when I was at Home Goods and I saw these, I thought they would be perfect when I'm hosting with my silver collection, which I can mix the silver and gold together. But this was a, I think it's a nine, it was a five piece, um, nine inch kitchen tool set for $6.99. So I picked up not one, but two of them. And they come with like a spoon, almost a ladle like a spatula and then some spoons with holes and some without holes and I thought this would be perfect just to sit next to each um, serving container and they can gather their food instead of using my regular kitchen um, spoons and forks and they're not as big and bulky so I think they'll look a little bit more daintier and classier for the entertaining of it all so I got two of those okay y'all I didn't do too bad I didn't do too bad so also from home goods I picked up this guys and it is I don't even know the name of it. I really purchased it for said color because I picked up back in the fall. I purchased some olive green, almost like a pistachio colored. I think I got a, a throw and maybe some curtains, some pillow covers or something in that color. I picked up some stems. And so I knew that I wanted to incorporate this color for the winter season. So when I saw this book, I went ahead and grabbed it. It was $24.99. And with coffee table books, you can style with them year round. I can always take the cover. I think the cover comes, I saw, yeah, the cover comes off of this and it is, it looks like it's a gray underneath so I can take it off and style if I'm doing something with the grays, but I just thought it was a good addition to my coffee table or vignette styling. So I picked that up, okay? And then the last item from Home Google, which is probably my favorite item in that it already, um, I already have this collection or this design pattern in my home and it is none other than this Tahari Home Table Runner. And if you have been a member of the royal family for any length of time, you know that I have um, one, two, three, four sets of these window, of the window curtains in my um, window panels in my formal living, dining, and kitchen area. I want to keep everything cohesive. And so when I saw this, I thought it would be perfect and that I can style with this in any three of those areas because it is the same pattern of the curtain, same brand. And I just thought, how perfect is that? And it does give winter vibes. It's kind of picking up on the hues that I'm gonna be going in. Real subtle, seductive grays, mochas, splashes of green, maybe a little bit of black for winter. Just a real cozy vibe for the winter is what I'm going for. So this was $16.99. And if they had more than one, I probably would've got it, but this is probably gonna be on my formal dining table for the winter styling, but love it, love it, love it, okay? Now we're gonna move on to Amazon, AKA Amazon. All right, guys, so from Amazon, I picked up just some things, just a few things. For um, Christmas, I gifted myself with a new um, personal phone. I picked, I got the, what did I get? the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And so I wanted, of course, to get a case for that. I got it, let me grab it. I got it in the, in the Y and I already have the case on here. So it is just a clear case. And then it, the case came with the actual screen protector, but I didn't know that. So I went ahead and ordered a set of three, um, the glass protected um, cases. So, and what I love is that I can use it on both this phone and on my business phone, which my business phone is a, I think it's a 13. Pro Max, and so I can use it on both, on both, um, on both phones. So I have now four glass cases because this one came, the the case came actually with two, and they were not expensive at all. I think this was the case was maybe seven ninety nine, and the screen protectors were five ninety nine. So I got those. Okay. Also from Amazon, my beautiful sister um, Bree of 
a modern living with Brie gifted me with a luscious white robe. And so I wanted to have just some white slippers to coordinate. So when I'm wearing the robe, you know, I'm extra like that. So whatever color robe I'm wearing, I like to have slippers to match too. Baby, I'm all about that lounge life. Like the lounge game is strong over here. So I went ahead and picked these up and I felt since I had them with the home decor, I may as well share them with you. They're really cute and comfy. It's like a microfiber. And so nothing, nothing extravagant about them. I just wanted a white slipper to coordinate with the white robe. So thank you, Brie. So I got those, okay. Also guys, tie, um, adding to or getting back into the, let me move this on because it's gonna buzz until I reply. Adding to the home updates of it all because we did put a pause in the home updates. I don't know if you guys knew it, but by the time we got into the holiday styling, all of the home updates that we did not get to, we just decided to just put them on pause until late winter, early spring. So you guys, we're gonna be getting back into that house to home series. And so to add to that, or to start continuing with that, I picked these up from Amazon. And they are, um, what do you call them? What do, what do you call these things? I just knew that I needed some, I just call them pretty, some hooks, glass. They're tassel, it says tassel holder. But, and they have like the screw here screening. I guess you screw them into the wall. Okay, let me move this phone. Set that over there somewhere. Cause it's gonna buzz y'all until I just reply. Yeah, set it somewhere that we don't hear it in the video. But I picked these up guys and they are really, really pretty. And they have that crystal detail and it's the chrome. And you guys know that's the metal of choice throughout my home with the exception of my office. I have, I'm gonna do gold accents and um, ivory and golds in here, but in every other space in my home, we went with the chrome and crystal um, metallics. And so this is gonna be really pretty. It is, it says this is a tassel holder, but I'm gonna use them as um, the little hooks to hang our towels on by the shower. I just thought that was really cute and fancy. Now this will be pretty as a tassel holder, but I just think that's too cute to have. What on it is? That's a vibe, okay. I don't know, but it's going to be a towel holder in my life. So that's what I purchased them for. So I'm going to place them back in there. And it was a set of two. And they're very, very, I want to say this. It's very heavy. So it's really, really, really well made. So you're not getting just like a piece of plastic that's, you know, in the chrome color. This is actually chrome. And I don't know if this is, well, it says glass. So this is actual glass. So it's very, very sturdy. And I'm, I know that it was less than 20 bucks for this set, but I will, of course, everything that I have from Amazon, I will link it. And I'm trying to get my Like to Know It page up and going and be a little bit more um, consistent with that. So if I can add to the Like to Know It, I will. And this is, I don't know what this brand is, BTSKY, but I'm really, really pleased with the quality of these. So I got them from Amazon, okay? Keeping in with that chrome and crystal look of it all guys these now these are some actual tie backs but how exquisite are these this could almost be dangly da um, dainty on a tree do i have some scissors in here i want to cut them i want to cut this tape off grab me a pair of scissors please um i just want to show you guys this is really really pretty um it is a crystal and chrome this is an actual tie back i love the detail i don't know if you guys can see really really pretty and i this they also had um like a pearl and um rhinestone detail and i think there was a gold one but i wanted to go with the silver because i'm going to use them in my bathroom as actual tie backs on my window curtains in there just really really elegant and dainty for that look okay so now moving on if i get scissors i will um I want. I just wanted to cut it, but it's not a big deal. I wanted to cut them apart so you can see them, see the whole crystal detail. But I think you get the gist of it. But it's really, really nice. I love these. I didn't think the quality of this would be as good because I think they were maybe. It may have been sixteen dollars for the set, but very, very pretty and well made. So I'm going to be ordering a couple more sets. I want to do that pearl. I ordered it in this because I wasn't sure what the quality. But now that I know the quality of it, I'm going to do the pearl ones for in here because I don't know if you can tell, but these are the reindeer tie backs from i think these are from totally dazzle is this totally dazzle it's i had i got them through a collaboration i'm almost certain it's totally dazzle and it has the gold reindeer and it's pearl you guys know i'm holding i'm doing that whole marble pearl you know it's all about the queen and so i want to do the pearl because it picks up the pearls that's in the in the tree itself on the crown you know all of the things so it's got to coordinate so i'm gonna pick those up to go along with this look okay guys so let's get into the organization of it all many of you have asked how do i store all of my 
Christmas decor because you know it's a lot. And I have been finding ways to even elevate that and level up that strategy as the years and times have progressed. And so I've been sharing with you guys the totes that I use and I have picked up some more, um, but I'll share them with you as well. But another thing that I found that was absolutely amazing and they are some um, Christmas gift wrap bags, okay? Really long, that's what I love about the length of it. I love that it's clear so I can see through it and I don't have to guess or wonder what's in the packaging, but I'm not gonna use it for gift wrapping, you guys. I have actual gift wrapping bags that I use for. It's nice and deep. And I am gonna use them, or I have been using them. This is my second or third set of these, but I just kinda want to open it up to show you how deep it is. It may be five to six inches in depth. And I'm gonna say about 20 inches. I'll put the measurements and everything on the screen in width and maybe three feet in length. I'm gonna use them for my floral stems, guys. You know, we have, we purchase a lot of floral picks for doing holiday styling. And we often struggle with how to store those or storing them without damaging them. And I found this to be an excellent way to store my floral stems, especially the long ones. You can even put, if you have like garlands or swags, they'll be perfectly stored in here because it's gonna keep them, you know, away from dust and debris and all of that. If you store it in your attic or your crawl space or wherever you store it, this will be. A, this is a perfect solution for that, guys. When I tell you, I pack a lot in these bags and I went ahead and again, picked up some more because I had some stems that were packaged in containers from previous years and I'm gonna go back and reorganize some of those things and get them stored in these bags as well just to make my holiday strategies a little bit easier season after season I know if I want to pull certain colors I don't have to guess and wonder where certain things are just looking at all the clear packaging and there I can pick them from there which is hence why I have been sharing with you guys all last season about the clear storage containers and I got the extra large ones because I have a lot of those large overscale six inch eight inch even ten inch ornaments and you need something big to house those in and the clear bins just work perfectly for us it was a lifesaver for us to style this season if i needed to send my husband down or my daughter ananda down to say hey pull gold items well they didn't have to guess because they're clear you can see that they're gold so whatever was gold they pulled it and it just made things flow a little easier as it related to our styling process okay so it, the package comes with a set of two and i picked up two sets of two so i got four of them okay i'm just passing everything along to my handy dandy assistant aka ananda say hi ananda hi <laughs> she's always in the background y'all and so guys for the winter styling of it all i absolutely love styling my deck because i use it all year long like y'all we got the first snow um, the other uh, today is when am I? It's Saturday. That's the fifth one I'm recording this, and we got snow, guys. Absolutely beautiful. And I know it was cold, but I just was out there. I was enjoying it, taking in that brisk air. It just felt amazing. And I do still have Christmas decor out there, so mind your business. But when I take it up, I'm gonna go into a winter styling. And so this is what I picked up, guys, for said winter styling. I got because I'm kind of keeping black and white as my um, background or color scheme of choice out there and just popping other colors season after season. So I got some black waterproof um, pillow covers. I got them in a 20 by 20. And of course with the, the deck is covered, but on one side, sometimes if it's raining and it's wind blowing, that pillow tends to get damp. So we have to make sure we move them. So if I get, I figured if I got waterproof, I wouldn't have that issue. So with those velvet um, pillow covers, I didn't want to risk any of them getting damaged. So these black will probably be used every season as a background, singing in the background of every color scheme or seasonal theme. Because I'm only going to do those for seasons. I'm not going to do them every month. I'm going to, or like every holiday that I style for. It's just going to be winter, spring, summer, fall, and Christmas. So you'll get five different looks for out there. So I got a set of four for I think 16 bucks guys, not breaking the bank there. And so the theme of course, again, I'm going with that whole wintry grays, black totes, just real cozy. I picked up a set of four guys. Again, they're also 20 by 20. So, so pretty, they're outdoors, so they are waterproof as well. But how cute is this? It's like a creamy or a taupey color with the black taupes, grays, I love that. So I knew this would be perfect for that color scheme or so for that theme 
It also came with this cute one. It says, let's get um, get cozy, let it snow. I love it. And it's, <laughs> look, it has that pop of blue, but I'm not focusing on the blue out there for the winter season. More or less the grays, blacks, and whites. And then this one has a pretty little wreath on it. All in that gray, black, and white. With the, I like the pop of the berry color, the cranberry color there. And then the final one says, hello, winter with the little truck. So, I, and it has, it looks like it has a tree on the back, but that is really, really pretty. So, the grays, whites, and grays with the black as my um, accent, because I'm not changing the rug or the cushions or anything like that. Just switching it out, putting a little wintery picks out there and pillow covers and go call it a day, okay? So, that is what I picked up from Amazon. All right, so now let's get into the meat and potatoes of it all, honey. I'm talking about the haul of all hauls. I was able to score some amazing items at the Hobby Lobby 90% off sale. Now, some of these I did get at the 66% off, and I just included them in this package to share, but 90% of this was purchased through the or at the 90% off sale, and I'm going to get right into it. First thing I picked up, guys, was this set of candles and it is on um, a set of five $23.99 I got them at 66% off and these are more in the creamy color so I predom I basically got these for event styling like when you're styling your head table just a little candle ambiance so I picked up two sets of these because these are more of a creamy color so they wouldn't fit with my fireplace because I want to keep all of them bright crisp and white so these are really pretty great deal at 66% off guys and they are battery operated I love that okay and so I told you guys, let me see which one do I want to get into first, because the majority of these are the 90. Let's pull this tote. Okay, let's, let's pull this tote. Hold the line, please. Right, so now we got everything kind of adjusted to, because it's a, it's a, lot, it's a whole lot, a whole lot, right? So I told you guys that we are now starting an annual Grinchmas theme party. And so I knew that they had an amazing Grinch, Grinch collection at Hobby Lobby. So I had my eyes on a few things. And so once we hosted our family uh, pajama Grinchmas party, I picked up some things at the 66% off sale. And then it didn't go 90 until maybe like um, the Tuesday after New Year's, I, be if I believe. So the week of Christmas, I got it at 66% off. And so the first thing I picked up, guys, was this grouping of coffee mugs. And it has, of course, the Grand Cindy Lou, and it even has little Macs on there. I thought they were so cute. So I picked up one for each um, of our daughters. You know, we have a house full of um, divas, a house full of little queens, all girls. I had one biologically, my love have, um, has three and so we got four and then god bless us with another so we have five queens in the house right and then we have a grandbaby and it's a girl so we ain't got nothing but a house of queens and then we're blessed to have our um our future son like wonderful young man so we love on him because he's the other masculine energy in the room whenever he's here so we got one for every one of them and then for the mr and mrs i share with you guys i picked up one of these for my love because i was teasing him calling him the grinch and so then when i went back they had another one i thought well, how cute would it be for the mom and dad to have the matching Grinch mugs and then the, the children have like the cute little um, Grinch um, cups here. And I even found a Grinch sippy cup for my baby, for my sweet pea, but she took it with her. She liked it so much. But we got these guys all at 66% off. And this one was um, $16.99. And then these mugs were $14.99, if I'm not mistaken, at 66% off. So we got that, y'all, this Grinchmas. Thing is bananas okay so also we picked up the Grinch cups and these are just like little tumbler cups and I we thought it would be great to do like um, the punch we did like a Grinch punch so we had these for that and I know that this is going to evolve and grow so we'll keep these signature for our children but as we evolve and we add cousins and brothers and sisters and nieces and nephews and all of that that want to come I picked up quite a bit of these and they were um, I think $3.99 each. And so I got 11 of them. No, initially I picked up 10 of them at the 66% off. And then I went back and got more of them for the actual, at the actual 90% off. So I got quite a bit of these. And then I got guys at, I think that's all I got at the 66% off. Everything else here is going to be the 90% off. And so I told you I went back and I got more of the mugs. So I have a total of 20 of the um, the Grinch 
tumblers for, and I got these at literally 39 cents each because they were $3.99 at 90% off. Y'all, I was like a kid in the candy store when it came to that whole Grinch collection, okay? I also picked up the Grinch um, and Max um, salt and pepper shakers. And for us, we could have some, you know, at each table or we could put the cinnamon and sugar for when we have like the cocoa um, bar and then we can have the salt and pepper over by the food. So, because everything is going to be Grinch when it comes to this pajama Grinchmas party. So I picked up a couple of sets of those. I thought I picked up three of those, but I did not. Okay, also guys, I picked up for the whole Grinch theme. Now all of this was 90% off. This was $23.99. I got it for $2.39. Okay, I picked up, as you can see, five of the Grinch little, I don't know if they were towel there. They kind of, when I opened them up, it wasn't, it's not necessarily a towel and it not necessarily a mitt. So I don't know how, we're going to use them somehow. I don't, I'm, I'm thinking of just putting them by each of the dishes so they could you know, wipe their hands or whatever or the cat spills or whatever but they're gonna be used in some kind of way at these events okay this one was 9.99 90 percent off so we got it for 99 cents okay y'all i was when i tell you like a kid in the candy store and then let me share this with you guys i knew that we wanted to have said dishes so i picked up some of the grinch trays they were 15.99 and I got them $4.50. So I got five of the ones that was the Grinch. And then I picked up two of the ones that had the scent had um the tree, Cindy Lou, and Max on there. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. And what you're doing the Grinch theme, all of it'll kind of come in there together and flow easily. So they were also $15.99 at 50%. I mean at 90% off, guys. When I tell you I scored B, we are ready for the Grinchmas party, okay? I also picked up some of the Grinch bowls at 90% off, they were $19.99, so I paid $1.99 for them. Picked up three of those, okay? When I tell you I went in, I played no games, I walked straight in the store, and actually, I wasn't even going in the store for this. I was going to pick up um, something for Somebody had ordered a custom wreath and I needed to pick up some letters to do to put on the wreath. And I just happened to be in there because I wasn't thinking it was going to be 90 that soon. I just watched somebody um, couponing video and they was at 75% off at their store literally that day. And then when I go to the store, they're at 90. So I was excited about that. So I was not, of course, not going to pass that up. So I took advantage. I also picked up guys, which I think is probably my favorite find because it's the most functional. Well, all of it's functional, but. This was what I wanted the most, and it is these. How cute are these Grinch spoon rests? So with each dish, we can set, you know, the spoon on top of the little Grinch spoon rest. And they were $16.99 at 90% um, off, and I got five of these, okay? When I tell you, honey, we are ready to host and do the most for the Grinch party, that's what we're doing. And so I think that was, oh, oh these are super cute. I got these too. And I hate that I couldn't find more of these, but y'all, how cute and darling are these little stockings that you can put spoons and forks in there. I thought that was so sneaking cute. And it's in the red, white, and green, ties in with the Grinch look. I was only able to get um, enough for our immediate families. So I'm hoping, well, I probably won't find any more this year. Hoping they repeat these and I'll just add to the collection as our guest list continues. But I definitely, even if we do just like a more intimate thing for us and our children, I don't know, but I just have to have them. So they were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of these and they were $3.99, 90% off, 39 cents, you guys. So I totally, totally, totally scored. And I shared these with you guys in the previous shopping haul. They're like the light bulb little mugs. These could be used for that party or under, cause you know, I, I brought these to go with the sugar and spice because initially we were gonna do it to match what was already in the kitchen. But my oldest daughter, AKA my mama, as she think, was like, mama, we should do Grinchmas. Everybody doing it, it's so much fun. So I let her convince me that we're gonna do Grinchmas. And I'm kind of glad I did because we scored some great things to keep that theme going alive year after year. But these will be really cute for if I do something like um, a girl's not in with my girlfriends and we can use these. They're gonna get used, trust and believe. But I picked these up at 50% um, off during that sale. And I shared them in a previous haul, but I got, I think two or three of each color, but how cute are they? And it's the light bulb with the cup so we can do little cocktails inside. So that's in this box because we are literally about to pack it all away for the next holiday season.
in your ex. For somebody who said that they didn't need nothing out of Christmas, but a 90% off baby, I couldn't let that pass. And so I picked up just some cute little things that I can use throughout the winter season, y'all. But how adorable is this little reindeer coffee mug? And I thought perfect for hot cocoa or a cappuccino, even a coffee, whatever you want to drink out of it. But this is just so stinking cute with the lid. They had more, but some of them were chipped or something was broken. So I just needed two of them. And I got um, got them, they were $19.99, so $1.99 each. So I picked up two of those. And I have them nestled in here because we're gonna be wrapping them and storing them away. Well, no, I'm actually gonna keep those two out and I'll be wrapping these up and storing them away. But I got to share with you guys the next item. How cute, oh my God. So cute, so fun. This could almost kind of sort of tie in with my um, sugar and spice and that is I got the whole gingerbread incorporated in there with the pink, um, I guess the red could or, you know, could where it wouldn't hurt. But if you're doing a gingerbread thing, it'll be perfect for that. If you're doing a candy cane thing, it'll be perfect for that. And it's just, it's going to be perfect for me. And then I'm going to style it up um, for the winter season. So cute, so fun. And again, gingerbread house with a cute little lid. I absolutely love these. I got four of these. So we're going to be wrapping those up. They too were, no, these were $14.99. I don't wonder why these big, these smaller ones... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's the detail. I don't know, but these were $19.99 and 90% off. And these were $14.99 and 90% off. I ain't mad either way because at that price, you just couldn't beat it. Okay? So your girl was happy with that purchase. Okay? And so for the next things, you guys, oh my God. I cannot, I can't wait to show you guys. So I am so excited about this. I mentioned to you all in the last shopping haul that I wanted to, that I was going to be adding a new theme per se to one of my looks and I was looking for black white and gold items I shared some items that I already purchased and I told you that I had my eyes on some things from Hobby Lobby this was the only thing that I wanted to get out of Hobby Lobby post Christmas but as you can see she got a whole lot more but I ain't mad so first thing you guys I want to share with you is this box of beautiful they're glass ornaments from the Robert Stanley collection. I eyeballed them in the beginning of the season and thought that when I was contemplating about the theme, when I saw these, it kind of sealed it for me. Black, white, and gold. I want to do, um, well, I'm going to do a nutcracker look. And so you'll see this with one of my signature colors that I style with year after year. It'll be the accent color here. Can you guess what color it's going to be? I'm not going to tell you because everything I'm sharing with you here is going to be black, white, and gold for this grouping. But it's so, so pretty. And you have to see how that look comes together for the holiday season. They were $19.99 and I got them at 90% off $1.99. So, so pretty, guys. It is a set. It's an AP set. Very, very beautifully crafted ornaments. I just, I love them. So, I, they spoke to me and I, I was able to get not one but two they had some that were smaller but i didn't want the smaller ones so i was able to get two oh, don't break because everything in this container guys is breakable so we're going to wrap it all up with some bubble wrap and get them stored for the next season but i was able to grab two of these guys at 90 percent off so i'm going to set those there okay and so with that i knew i had my eye on these particular ornaments because i also those this was the only two things i was going to get was those and these beautiful black and white glass ornaments guys everybody was wooing over these just because black is such a popular color now it's been trending for the last couple of years and i don't foresee it not trending um in the near future so i love these they were uh, 14.99 i was able to get them at 90 percent off so i got um five in this design right and then i got or did i get three in that design i think i got three in that design and then I was able to get uh, five in this design. You know, I like to purchase an odd number. So they were seven, these were $17.99. I absolutely love them. And how gorgeous is that going to be with this look? Even if I just did black, white, and gold. That's such, such an elegant and classy look. But that is so, so pretty. So I was able to grab those. I was excited about that. Over in there, minding my own little bit. Oh, Jesus, don't break. Okay. I saw these and thought... You got to add those to the collection. So again, I'm going to be adding these to items that I already have. You know, I have that black and white collection from David Christopher, the uh, Winter Glam look that's beautiful black and white. And it came with silver and bling, but I mixed those up and I took all the bling items and added it to my um, 
my Empress look, which was the Tiffany and Diamond and all that pretty stuff. I put all the glamorous stuff in that, and I've been using the black and white and different looks. This year, I used it with the Barbie, the princess tree, and so next year, it's going to get a new home, and it's going to be styled with these beautiful pieces, the black, white, and gold, and this is also from the Robert Stanley Collection. These were $13.99 at 90% off, but how gorgeous are they? And I picked up odd numbers. I think I got I see five in here, so I got five of those. Or did I get seven? Okay, it's five of those, right? And so, you guys... I saw these and I had a oh, moment because it was not on my radar at all. Even at this point, doing monthly trees was not on my radar. That's something that I kind of contemplated and settled on since my little sabbatical, right? But I saw these and I thought, how perfect would that be? And it's none other than these things. They are beautiful. Also by Baby Robert Stanley came in clutch for the holiday styling season. And again, the whole season, you know, Hobby Lobby puts their Christmas items out in July, for those that don't know. And they're pretty much 50% off up until mid-November or after November. Then they kind of start going, or raising the, the discount. But they put out since July. And I'm saying that because I must have gone into Hobby Lobby several dozen times. Never even thought about this. Look, they didn't even see these ornaments. But the moment I saw them at the, I think I first saw them at the, I did. I got some of these at the 66% off. And then I went back when it was at 90 that day and they had more. So I picked up more of them. And they are these beautiful bumblebee ornaments. How gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the details of these guys. But they are so, so beautiful. It has like bumblebees and the little dots of them like swarming around. And it's a beautiful yellow with the little, crusted little sugary look but it doesn't shed which is what i love 13 i'm um, 10.99 i got five at 66 percent off and then i went back and i got because i probably have about 13 or 12 of these i got seven so i got 12 so i got seven at the 90 percent off the moment i saw these you guys know where my mind went to my queen bee summer look and so this was the first tree with why well, i had been thinking about doing a valentine's tree because i knew i didn't want to take all the trees down and then when i saw this i thought I could do a queen bee tree to tie with my whole queen bee looking. So then the wheels, the table started turning and I saw these, right? And I was like, yeah, when I saw these, I was like, yes, I can do that. Again, I have just purchased, had these already in my cart, right? So you see, do you see what, do you see what the rock is cooking? So I already had these in my cart. I already had these in my cart. So now I can take these same ornaments that I was initially going to get for a nutcracker look. I can even use them for Valentine's Day. And now I can use them for the queen bee tree. So y'all, the girl, <laughs> I'm excited because that is why I wanted to do the monthly tree look to show you how you can take, again, I just shared with you, purchase these for one tree. I'm going to be styling up three, maybe four of my looks from the monthly tree series to show you how you can take the same items and create different looks. So this is also gonna be a part of the queen bee tree, y'all. Cannot wait to bring that to life. And as if it couldn't get any better than this, because again, I already have some black and white ornaments in my collection. I even have some yellow ornaments in my collection because I was working on another tree that I wanted to do. Guys, when I say God, I know how to bring a plan together. He knows how to bring a plan together. So I started thinking, okay, you already got yellow. You already got black and white. You're picking up these pinstripes. How could it get any better than that? Mm, God said, I can level up that sis. Let me show you what you got. So I kept on walking and look what I found. Look what I found, y'all. Mm. Y'all, it's a bumblebee. A bumblebee ornament. Who would have thought it? Like, come on, Sir Robert Stanley. They, when I say he came through for your girl, this is going, can y'all not see this? Do y'all see it? I already see it. I cannot wait. So this is going to be featured for one of the summer looks, okay? So this was $10.99 and I got, now I did get these, all five of these at the 66% off sale because once I, that idea came to mind, I didn't want to risk them not being there. There were more of these there than there were of these. And so that's kind of like my rule of thumb. If there is more available, I'll wait it out. But if it's only a few quantity, I'm going to go ahead and snag them at whatever that sale price is. So 66% still wasn't a bad price. So I was elated to get these, y'all. So I am going to be mm, so excited to bring that look. And you guys know why the Queen Bee theme is so near and dear to me. I did it last year in honor of my late mother, Queen Esther. So the Queen Bee takes on, again, a whole new meaning. I'm going to be so excited to create that look. But y'all, there's more from the 90% off sale. So I have been looking at these, because yeah, that ain't, that ain't all. I have been looking at these as well, and I thought, 
Mm, do you need them? Not really. So I'm trying to talk myself out of them. But once I put together the sugar and spice look in the kitchen, I loved it. But I knew again that I wanted to build on that. And so I thought about I wanted to beef up above the cabinet a little bit more for next year. So I thought, what well, if I pull some things from the tree, then I got to put some things, replace what I'm taking off the tree to put it. You know, you got to shuffle stuff around, right? And so I have been looking at these and I thought, they could work if you really want to. Well, honey, when they went, oh, that's broken. I just broke one. When I got, when I saw these, I just could not, well, it's actually broken in a good place. I couldn't resist. And it's none other than these guys. Also from Robert Stanley Collection. It's more of those beautiful glass ornaments. But look at the colors. Perfect for the sugar and spice of it all. See, this is how you build a created look. Adding to what you already have year after year. So you're not breaking the bank, creating totally new looks every year. You're able to just keep the same look and add something new and kind of spice it up, you know, from season after season. So for $14.99, I picked up four of these and I just noticed that I broke one. I think that's what I heard when I put that down, but hey man, because it's broke at the bottom and you see how it's made. Like I can, of course, nestle that in the tree. You will never even notice it. It's not a bad break. Okay, so I'm gonna set that there. That's what I gotta be, gotta be careful. Okay, so I picked up four in that design. I picked up four in this design. They were a different price. This one was $17.99. The more exquisite designs, of course, was more. So I picked up four in this look. I picked up enough to add six new pieces to each tree. That was kind of my, my rule of thumb or my mental strategy, so to speak. And then there's another design down in here, okay. And this one was $16.99. So they were all different prices. So $16, $17, and what is this one? $14 and I picked up four of each look so that'll give me six per tree to add. So once I pull some of the candy pieces off of the tree to beef up above the cabinet, I'll have something to replace it with. I didn't want it to be the same old, you know, mundane ornaments. I wanted something a little bit more interesting. So that is going to kind of dress it up a bit, if you would. But I love everything I got, y'all. That is.
update their look. So got that for that. Got these for moi. We both gonna be a happy, happy camper. So it was a win-win with this purchase. So I picked up 10 of those and we're gonna create the clusters. It's gonna be all kinds of fabulous, okay? So from Tuesday morning, this is what prompted me to get out and even get in these holiday streets, right? One of you all, which is also one of my sisters in Christ, um, wonderful woman of God, name is Lakanya. She texts me about a new store that was um, in an area that I shop at and I had never heard of it. And so she was like, I'm out and about if I see something out, you know, let you know, whatever. So then she messages me telling me that Six of Bloom has 75% off. And I had just ordered out of my lips. I'm just gonna lay and chill today. I'm not doing no shopping. Baby, you could have seen me jumping up and jumping in some clothes when she told me they were 75% off to get over there and take advantage of the sales. And I'm glad I did. Didn't do too much, but I got what I needed to add to my looks, okay? So the first thing I picked up was for the Burgundy or the Cranberry Merlot, whatever I'm gonna call it, because I still haven't thought of a name for this collection. But you all know that I have been building on this look probably a couple of years now. And um, again, you never know why why God unctioned you to do certain things and then certain situations of bring it all home and make it all clear for you. This was my mother's favorite color, you guys. It was my, also my mother-in-law's favorite color. And we lost both of our queens, my love and I, um, within four month time frame, I believe four or five months. My mother, his mother passed away, transitioned in September, and my mother transitioned the following year in February. So this was both of their colors. They were so similar in their style and the way they decorated their homes. And so I was already building on this cranberry looking. So now this color has a special meaning to me. So I'm working on building just that perfect, perfect um, look. And when I saw these in the store, I was kind of torn because it said red on the label, but it read merlot or burgundy to me so i picked up three of these to add to what i already have and this is again by designer excellence i love this brand you can definitely count on quality when you see that label on their um tag so this is really pretty guys really exquisite like a burgundy mercury glass with a beautiful beaded detail on there really really gorgeous ornament i only got three because again i'm building on this look and it's going to be the accent whenever I style this look up. And so I already had these in my collection, guys. How perfect is that? So I purchased these last, um, in 2022. I purchased these off season from Tipton and Hearst. And then I got these this year. So again, I'm building a look and I have these beautiful, um, velvet, um, burgundy or Merlot ornaments. So whenever I bring this look together, it's gonna be everything, okay? I have some beautiful poinsettias and floral stems gorgeous ribbon from i think it's either ferris silk or d stevens but the look is going to be scrumptious whenever i pull it out but when i saw those i knew that i had to i had to have it how gorgeous is that so i may do this look in honor of his mother since i have the queen in honor already of my mother because i kind of want to you know have something that representing special to the entire family so i've got those so i picked up again three of those 16.95 at 75% off, okay? And I just pulled this one to show you guys how how well that came together. So we're gonna wrap it all up in some bubble wrap, package it with the Burgundy Collection, and hopefully it makes an appearance next or this coming up Christmas season. I'm not sure yet, but still working on it. But I think I have enough to make that look really, really pop. So that is that, okay? And so also guys, you all know that I am introducing a new look. I've built a new collection. And it's a lavender and um i think i'm gonna do i said initially different shades of purple but now i'm leaning more towards the lavender with the iridescent and the silvers and whites but we'll see we'll see how the juices flow but i picked up some of these um early in the season at 25 percent off because that was just my designer discount but i got it at 75 percent off the other day and so i picked up another package of the um four or five inch ornaments i think these are four yeah, these are four inch and they're like a shiny color, $11.95 at 75% off because I already have two of these. And then I picked up um, a couple of packages of the six ounce, this 150 millimeter. Mm -hmm. So these are six inches and they were $16.99 or $16.95 at 75% off because I'm only going to be styling up one tree for this. I don't need a whole, whole lot. But I picked up again, two of these because I already had, already have, I think two 
packages of this and I know for sure I have two packages of this that I picked up at 25% off so that was all I got for the lavender because once you see what I got from Crab Text, baby just gorgeous okay so from um do, 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 where I'm at Silks of Bloom I picked these up only because when I placed my order from Crab Text, I had ordered initially a large quantity of this color but you know because they're going to purchase they're going to pull for customers in the store first and once they started pulling the online orders some of those things that i ordered were out of they weren't available so they only could send me what they had available but i wasn't mad because i actually got a bigger discount with the ones from silks of bloom okay and i'm speaking of none other than these beautiful aqua blue matte ornaments i fell in love with that matte look you guys i style some on my entryway and I had purchased them last season off Christmas and I just love the look of them mixed with the different um textures and dimensions they just bring a certain level of elegance and class to it there's just something about that matte look that's just real real classy to me and so these are the eight inch they are $22.95 at 75% off and I picked up five of these because that's all they had of the matte and again I think I actually that's about how many they were they were out of because I ordered everything in sets of nine from Crab Text, but they could only send me like I maybe like three of them, so I got five of those. And I initially ordered from Crab Text some um, six inches, but they were all solid matte. When I saw these, I actually liked this better, and I wish they had more of these. I probably would have gotten more. This is a six inch. It's a matte with a glittered stripe on there, and I think that's going to add so much more interest and dimension to the look but beautiful in the aqua blue it can oh gorgeous with this that's cute girl but i ain't buying for queen i bought them for the new trees again i told you that we're gonna go taller in the um formal living area so and that those trees will rotate so when you have a rotating tree every aspect of that tree needs to be styled tiny to perfection so i want to make sure i have enough to accommodate the more girth and the more height that we're adding to those looks so i picked up five and five okay and while we're on the subject of what I, I have them stored here and i share with you guys these totes all the time but i want just since we're doing this video and we were talking about storage solutions this is what i use to store all of my ornaments so once i ordered tons more of the larger ornaments i went ahead and picked up a, um, four more of these and we have them all filled to capacity already. Um, they are the sterile, is it Sterilite brand from, you can get them on Amazon or Walmart. And I'll link the, um, the Sterilite brand in my Amazon store for you guys. They are the 105 quart or 99 liter size. They are very, very durable. I like the latch um, handles on there. And I love the fact that I can see through. So you don't even have to label. You can simply just pop them in and you see what color family is in each tote or if you want to do if you want to store by your themes if you have like for me i'm going to store all my sugar and spice i'm going to store that as a theme because that'll never change so all of that will be stored together but in terms of my solid colors i store them by color so that is what i have here and i got a little bit of room to grow but i got some things over here literally overflowing so we're going to put them in here as well so got those and these are about um 15 dollars 14 dollars Per tote, but well worth the investment, guys, in that you will have them for years to come. And they are stackable. And I try not to stack more than three to four at a time. And some of them I have stored on shelves so I can kind of get um get them stored without having to load anything on them. So the heavy ones, I store them on the shelves, but the, if they're lightweight, I can stack them like in stacks of fours to give me more storage capacity. But that's just another little storage tip. Okay. You can thank me later. But that was everything I picked up from, oh, uh, what was this store? Silks of Bloom. Okay. So now we're going to go to Craftex. Guys, I went in at Craftex because, again, when I made the trip in November for my girlfriend's um, 50th birthday party or birthday dinner, we went and I was able to visually see some of the things. I hadn't been in Craftex in, in the store in years. And I was just so excited to see everything and I could kind of gauge the quality better. So even with me having to buy it online this time, I knew exactly what I was getting because I had already been in there and I saw the quality of the things. So I had already scoped some things out, guys. And again, 
the blue is going to always be true to the royal home. So much so that I actually thought about doing the lavender in the main area, my formal living area. And my husband and daughter was like, absolutely not. Keep these colors. This is beautiful. So they all ruled that we're going to run the aquas and champagnes and golds back for 2024, which, you know, I ain't mad at. So, and again, we're building on those looks. So I needed to add more to those set looks. And so for the first thing I picked up from Craft Tech at the 30% off, guys, are these beautiful floral picks. Absolutely gorgeous. And they have, these have, these are, all of this is that designer excellence brand. So again, I Color. It's no gold or champagne in there. It's simply like the aquas in the clear crystal, which is kind of where we're going to go with that look. But they are so, so pretty. And I picked up eight of these for the place setting. So it kind of tells you where they're going to be placed. But they are absolutely beautiful. Okay. So I got eight of those again at the $9.95 at 30% off. Okay. So let's get all of those. Honey, I want to tell you, I went in and honestly, well, no, I spent about, I was about to say, for what I spent, I could have added a couple of clients budgeting and met that $1,000 mark to get it at 50, but I wasn't trying to do all that. So I'm happy, like I said, I'm happy with what I got. Again, I wanted to add to the aqua look, so I got the eight inch aqua ornaments and the shiny. Very, very pretty. I love these. I love the way they look in the tree. So I picked up, and this one, these looks can go, or these colors can go in both the formal living room and in the um, 
and the dining room. And so, like I said, I'm going to be switching up the dining area. So I'm going to pull some things off of that tree, add it to another tree, which means I need to replace. If I take some away, I got to replace it with something. So that's why I picked up more of the bigger ornaments. And that tree in the dining room is the tallest, I think. It's, is it a nine? No, it's an eight foot in the dining room. So I picked up one, two, three, four. I think I got six of these to put two, two shinies on each tree. The two in the living room and then the one in the dining area. And they, they were able to send me all of my shiny requests because I guess that wasn't a popular request. And it is the light, this one is the light blue shiny um, 100 millimeter, which is a four inch, okay? So I got um, nine of these and they sent me, looks like I got two, is that three, so yeah, six of those. And then I ordered some matte ones, right? But again, they didn't have all the matte. So what they sent was able to send me was the eight inch, one, two, three, four of the big ones. So they gave me four here and then I ordered five there. So I have nine of the mat so three can go on each of the trees so that's kind of how i rationalize it in my mind right and then again they sent me five of the mat that they had but i went ahead and made up for that with the matte and shiny from um silks of bloom so i was able to get five of these at um 30 at 60 degrees, at 30 percent one two three four five yeah, I got six of these because again, I'm looking to disperse them to three different trees. So that was that on that, okay? And so now guys, the final collection that I got, which I'm so excited about, I'm gonna be sharing with you is this one. This is them I'm going to the next.
a aqua or no i did it against a teal beautiful i've done it against the aquas in the living area gorgeous it will be beautiful against pink but once i placed it against that purple it just spoke to me and i was like yep that's the look we're going for so i got um again that box the smaller size i got the six inch size and i was trying to see if i got no i didn't get any of the eight inch i just got the six inch and the four inch and then i have three so it's gonna be three different um size of the the um iridescent and then two different sizes of the lavenders with that glass it's gonna be with those glass finials it's gonna be so so pretty right and so also beginning with the lavender of it all i think i'm gonna call this look purple rain because it's just it's just giving me all of the royal vibes okay i was these now poinsettias had me in a chokehold y'all when i saw that they had them in the lavender i was like yes put them in the basket put it in the basket <laughs> like that i saw this real that said i may have overcommitted. i don't know i don't um, again it's only gonna be one tree but um, i haven't had anything for this look so i felt like i needed to really really um build on the look but i will be using this for many many years to come i picked up five of these in the lavender y'all how gorgeous is this going to be look at that look at that love it love it love it so i got five of those right then i was like let me just Type in lavender and see what pops up from their site, y'all. Oh my God. Then this pops up, the lavender stems. And so of course you gotta have a fabulous tree topper, right? So I picked up five of these. Again, I know that I can mix and match it with some platinums or some champagne hues, whatever hue I, metallic I choose to use. I can even use gold with this because it has all of those metallics in there. Really, really, this will be stunning if I did like a, a rose gold. Okay then, but I picked up five of those, right? So, so pretty. And don't quote me on the price, but I think these were $14.99 at, most of the things I purchased were $14.99 at 30% off. And I got five of those, okay? And you cannot have, well you can, but I love to have beautiful ribbon or ribbon in all of my looks, right? So because I had keyed in that lavender, this beautiful Dupioni silk lavender ribbon popped up. It's by the brand Expressions, which I do love. I use a lot of that, a lot of that brand when I craft like my um, reefs and swags and things for my custom orders. And this is a 10 inch, a 10 yard um, roll. This two and a half width two and a half inch width and 10 yards in length. I love it, love it, love it. So I like to pair high and low when it comes to my ribbon styling, right? So I have this and I thought, now that's pretty, but what we gonna use to make it pop, sis, you gotta make it pop. And when I saw this, because I killed in iridescent, this popped up, y'all. This is by Ferris Silk, baby Ferris Silk and D. Stevens and Dave, Dave and Christopher, baby, they, they know what to do when it comes to this ribbon. And I found another, um, brand that I love and it is what is his name John Mark I believe his name is I've been following him on Instagram he's amazing and he's right low he's close to me out of Memphis he has a beautiful line of ribbon as well but y'all this this right here though mm -hmm. gonna be so good it, I don't know if you can if the camera is reading it but it is a an, a white ribbon and it has like the iridescent beading down the middle of it so it's going to pick up on those hues and color schemes just perfectly y'all y'all know this tree going as the young folks say baby it's gonna eat mm -hmm. i'm leaving no crumbs when it comes to my sweet pea because this look you guys was designed with my grandbaby lavany in mind so this is my sweet peas tree she's gonna get her own little tree yes i'm that extra and i don't know if i told y'all but the name i decided on remember when we finally was having a grandbaby i didn't know what i was going to be called and i didn't decide on what i was going to be called until the day of her one year birthday literally and i was like you know what i'm going to be gammy i didn't want to be the, the glammy and the gg and her um her mother already has gg and then her um the other grandmother has granny, if I'm not mistaken. And so I was like, well, I'll be Gammy. And so I'm Gammy, and Gammy is going to make a beautiful treat for her sweet pea. I absolutely love this, guys. It's going to be amazing, and I cannot wait to share the new looks, the old looks, how we're going to run it back and add a little twist to it. You guys know how I do. So that is it. That is all. She ain't buying no more decor for a Christmas haul. That is it, y'all. Um, you stick a fork in me. She done. Because my husband had told me, if you buy one more thing.
I'm gonna choke the life out you. So <laughs> I'm gonna happily oblige and I'm gonna be, I am done. I have not purchased anything. I have no desire for anything, no need for anything. I have every color, hue, and theme that my heart desires and I'm a happy camper. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't even know how long it's gonna be. I just decided to run it all together. Just a great way to kick off 2024 with what I do best, honey. It's in these streets, dipping and doing it and shopping. But I'm gonna be bringing some new and exciting, um videos to you this year something a little different off of the the, 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 the design path i want to get into some um business savvy budget saving techniques or whatever i want to just kind of invite you all to join me on a challenge i'm going to be doing a savings challenge and whatever your your goal is whatever it is that you want to save get that number in your mind and we're going to sit down and kind of start on this challenge together i was inspired by another youtuber a young lady she um has a vlog channel and she purchased this container from amazon and you have to like break it to get the money out and so she all year long she was just putting money in there was no she didn't have a set amount that she put in or a set time that she put it in she just put money in there as she saw fit and so on her birthday which i think was november she cracked it open and baby girl had like seven stacks that she had saved and i thought okay okay then you may be only something because there's no lock to open it in order to open it you literally got to crack it open so i thought now that would be a great way just to save and i don't know i don't know what my i think i may save for christmas i may save for our anniversary trip or whatever the case may be or just save just to see how much i can save in that manner but i just always want to find new and challenging ways to build myself spiritually mentally physically and financially so that's one of my goals for 2024 is to save more i did good in 2023 i saved more than i spent believe it or not we had goals in mind we set those goals we crushed those goals and so going forward in 24 we have the same energy we have goals set launching new businesses god is amazing he is working on our behalf and i just believe the word of god that says if we are willing and obedient we will eat the good of the land baby we're eating the good of the land over here god is blessing us and i mean just so many scriptures come to mind that he will withhold no good thing from them that walk right before him and so we we're trying our best to walk right we're trying our best just to be the best you know mother father friend that we can be uncle brother cousin we're trying to be the best so that's our goal and our strategy we just continue to build legacies for our children and our grandchildren and our children's children so children so i just i just want to level up in every aspect of my life in 24 and i hope that that is your desire in 24 and what god has put on my heart like coming into the new year i just kept hearing um the priestly blessings i think it's in numbers no may the lord bless you and keep you may he make his face to shine upon you be gracious unto you and give you peace and i just that is my prayer for you all in the 2024 year that god is be um be merciful to you and be gracious to you and give you peace that you move forward with high expectancy just expecting god to move in your life if there's areas in your life that you wasn't pleased with in 23 it's a simple change of the mind. It's like you click a light switch on and off. You can decide today to be better than you was on yesterday, to do better than you did on last year. Just go in with a positive mindset and just yield yourself to God and say, God, let not my will, but let your will be done. Write your vision, make it plain, and just watch God move on your behalf. Manifest those things that you believe in God for. And together, we're going to make 2024 an awesome year. So until the next video, guys, I want you all to stay safe. Remain royal. And until the next one, have yourselves a blessed and beautiful day. Bye.